All right, today is uh, Tuesday, November 20th, 2018. Sun decided to come out today, so I pushed all these parts out to get a look at everything in the sun. Um, the doors are looking really good. They're really uniform, no blotchy. Really satisfied with that. Uh, the fenders are good. Evenly coated. As you can see, that runs on the side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start scuffing this up. I'm going to drop it down on the rotisserie. It got two more adjustments to lower it. So and then I'm going to push it out and get a good look at the roof. I haven't seen the roof in the sunlight. Uh, make sure that's good. Uh, we got the hood. The hood and the trunk are gonna need a respray. We already established that. We can get a look in the sun, see what it looks like. It's a shame because I really like the way the clear laid out, but I ordered some more clear yesterday. Should be here tomorrow, maybe. Probably gonna try and respray this stuff on Friday. <clears throat> Faintly see stripe. Very faint. Um, it's not really not that big of a deal. I mean, the camera might not even be picking this up. Actually, it's kind of hard to see. There you go. So I can fix that. I feel I can get that better. So I'm gonna, since I got plenty of base, order some more clear. I got the time off from work, so might as well. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be real easy to fix. I just plan to scuff all this with maybe 400. Block it 400. Be ready for base. Same with the uh, same with the trunk outside. Quarter panel the same. Uh, it's just masking it off is going to be the most work involved, I think. Masking it off so you don't get overspray over everything. But it's nothing I can't fix. Um, so I'm going to be sanding this today. Push it back in here. And mask it off. Let it sit until probably, if the clear arrives tomorrow morning, then I'm going to do all this tomorrow. Uh, if it arrives tomorrow night, then it's probably going to be Friday when, I, when it gets done. Uh, stay tuned. All right, part two here. Uh, these things are already ready to spray. I mean, it wasn't really hard. All I did was I de it with 320 really lightly, hardly any pressure, just to take the heavy stuff out. And then I long blocked them with 400. So it, it didn't break through to the color, so... Uh, that's good. That means everything that's under that first layer of clear is still protected from the from the uh, from the base, from the sealer, from the primer, the e coat. All that was untouched. So all I did was basically knock off top layer of clear, and then I'm going to base this and re-clear. Um, I'm going to probably base it tomorrow. The clear scheduled for delivery tomorrow. I don't know if it's going to be morning or night. Onto this, I started knocking down these runs. I, I came to grips that I'm just gonna, instead of me trying to wet sand these runs out, I'm just gonna repaint this quarter panel. Uh, I think that's easier. So, man, this, this runs are nasty. So what I did was I just knocked them down, not quite all the way, but with 180. Then I'm gonna go 220, 320, 400. And then it'll be ready for base. So basically I'm gonna repaint this whole quarter panel. Um, I'm going to tape right here, tape here, tape here, mask all that. I'm going to spray this, this, probably may or may not spray this in this whole quarter. Um, I really don't want to mess with this, but I'll have a hard tape line right here. 
So I, I gotta figure something out for that. I'm looking at the roof. The camera's probably not gonna pick it up, but there's a light spot right here. I don't know how that happened. Because to spray the center of the roof I got on a stool, and that's good. But this area is light like it like I missed it. So that's a bummer. So this roof is getting resprayed too. So roof, quarter, door, and hood. That's what I'm not happy with. Um, and it's very minor. I mean, you can't even see it from here. But I know it's there. And it bothers me. This quarter's excellent. So I'm going to move the, do the doors and the fenders to the other garage. Get them out the way. Um, I'm just going to scuff the roof. I mean, it just needs like one coat of base, man. Maybe, you know, two. I'm going to do two because I got plenty, but the color's already there. So it's going to be really easy. It's just a bummer because I wasn't planning on doing this, but I did take the time off from work, so might as well. So, knock these runs down. I lowered the rotisserie. I don't know why I didn't think about doing that in the first place. I It totally s skipped my mind. But I, the rotisserie is as low as it goes now. So it's going to make spraying this roof very easy. Um, just a little step stool and I can reach the middle really easy. I can actually reach it without it. Should have done that to begin with. Um, I don't know why I didn't think about it. I was spraying the car was really high in the air. Um, lesson learned. Live and learn. I, got, I don't have to buy any base. I don't have to buy any reducer. The clear that I bought, I bought two quarts. And it mixes one to one so I'm going to have a gallon of sprayable. It's 150 bucks shipped to the house. So this is what this respray is costing me. It's 150 bucks. I guess that's not bad. I hope that a gallon of sprayable is enough. I'm thinking it should be because I used one gallon of sprayable and I coated the entire car, all these panels, one heavy coat. So. I'm thinking I should be enough because I'm not doing doors, I'm not doing fenders, I'm not doing quarter, I'm not doing dash, I'm not doing firewall, I'm not doing skirts. So it should be good. A gallon of sprayable, if it's not, there's a problem. So I'm just going to continue to knock down those runs, get everything in 400, get it back in here, start masking off, thinking about maybe waking up in the morning and rebasing. Um, and then if the clear shows up, I spray the clear. If not, they can sit in base for a day or two before I spray the clear on Friday at the latest. So I'm feeling good about it. I got over it. I was bummed out, you know, having to do this, but definitely a learning experience. I know what not to do next time. Um, so I'm over it and we're moving on. Stay tuned. All right. That didn't take long at all. It took about 20 minutes. Um, no more runs. Had a little little sag down there in the bottom, so I might as well paint that bottom half. I was debating on taping it off or not. Might as well now. Um, so basically, I had it. I had to clean up along the whole quarter panel, all the way front to back, and down here in the bottom. Let's see, there we go. <clears throat> so it's definitely flat now. Had a little bit of breakthrough down to the sealer. That's okay. I have enough paint. I think I'm going to spray three coats on this thing. Make sure that hides. I don't want to. I don't want to be able to see that once I'm done. Um, it's definitely f smooth. It's back to 400 grit, which is what you need before your base coat. Or you can go six. Or you can go 320. Um, I usually like 400. So what I'm going to do next is uh, I'm going to go over this entire quarter panel with 400 because you could miss some. Because I did a 180, 220, 320, 400. Now, now that's that's probably 220 grit scratches. So you know, as you're blocking, you know, sometimes you're going further out than you think, and then with your next grit, you go shorter, so you leave the heavy scratches out. Paint doesn't cover 220 grit. So to be on the safe side, I'm going to block this whole thing down with 400. No DA block only because you, you want to maintain its flat. So you go with the DA, it's not going to be as flat as a hand block. So quarter panel 400, roof 400. Move it in the shop, start masking it off. This is going a lot faster than I thought. Um, 
Stay tuned. All right, so we got this whole quarter panel in 400. Just a little bit of breakthrough there. Um, I'm gonna come down here, and that's where the that's where the tape line is gonna be. I'm gonna kind of roll it up a little bit so it wouldn't be so hard. It's gonna be here, inside here, inside here. Stop here and come around like that. So this is not gonna be painted. So it's gonna be this outer quarter panel on over to the roof. And basically the entire roof so I just kind of scuffed it up a little bit I'm not trying to take all the texture out and, and I'm just gonna because it's gonna be more texture so I just scuffed it up really good I went 320 with the DA real lightly and then long block 400 so it's flat again for the most part um, so it didn't take as long um, it took me about I don't know two hours total two and a half uh, maybe three and a half. Um, so basically, I'm just kind of starting over on the process. 400 grit, base coat, clear coat. Um, feeling good about it. Um, just going to have to be more careful with the clear. But if I did the other side without any runs or issues, I can duplicate that and do it on this side. So I'm just going to blow it all off, wheel it in, and... Uh, Start masking it off tonight, and then that's going to be a wrap. All right, folks, today is still Tuesday, November 20th. It's 8.30 at night, and I just got this thing all masked up. Um, cleaned it a few times. It needs to be cleaned a few more times before it's ready for base. So what I'm going to do, maybe tomorrow, depending on when the clear is scheduled to be, be delivered, is uh, I'm going to paint this entire quarter panel. We're going to paint, repaint the entire roof. Um, I got it masked off. I'm not really that good at masking, but uh, it's definitely protected. Um, <clears throat> so the only spot that's going to have an edge is going to be right here in this groove. And I bought some 3M tape that's made specifically for that, according to 3M. So we'll see how that works. Um, I got the back window masked. What I did was I DA'd the roof and the hood and the trunk with 320. Then I blocked it with 400. Then I uh, red pad, red pad to try and get all the shine out of it. It's, it's okay. Maybe could use another 10 minutes worth. But I, uh, I, I found some more lights that I forgot I had over here um, so what I'm gonna do when it comes time to spray is I'm gonna do all the edges first because apparently I lacked in coverage the first time around so edges first front and back and then I'm gonna start on the passenger side and carry it over to the driver's side base and clear um, because I can get close to this because this says this, this won't be wet so that's my strategy I got the rotisserie drop down so it's a little more manageable I don't know why I didn't do that first time but we got the trunk it's nice and flat ready for base got my two lights up there got the hood the same thing and like I say the only problem with this was the stripe so it's probably actually flatter than it was the first time around. So maybe the finish might be even better because I, I blocked it with 400. So all we're going to do is uh, color and more clear uh, should be flatter than it, than it was. <clears throat> so I got a light over there and I got another light right here. So it's nice and well lit. I'm thinking I'm going to do three coats on everything and, and allow it to, well, maybe two, but the main thing is the flash time because I think that's what caused the stripes was that maybe to the eye it looked like it was dry, but chemically maybe it wasn't. And then when you sprayed the clear, it woke it up and 
that's when the stripes appeared because there was definitely not any stripes before we cleared visually. So that's the only thing I could think of was that when I sprayed the clear, it woke up the, woke up the base that maybe hadn't 100% flashed off due to temperature in the shop. So I'm going to allow a lot more flash time and we're just going to focus on these panels right here. It should, it should be easier because we're not focusing on a whole bunch of stuff. We're just focusing on the hood, the trunk, and, and then the quarter. Maybe I'll paint them separate. I'm not sure yet. But could focus more attention on the issues that need to be addressed versus trying to spray the whole car in one day. So I'm feeling pretty good about it. Um, we'll see how it comes out. Uh, the main thing is I have to remember to myself I can slam the clear on the flat panels in the roof. Can't slam it on the quarter because I don't want any runs. Um, if I can pull this off without any runs, that would mean that there's no runs of sand period on the entire car, and the cut and buff process should go very nice. So it's a shame that I have to redo this, but I'm I'm anxious to try it out. Um, so stay tuned.